Hey guys, Eric here, Nomadic Fanatic. I'm gonna be showing an interesting video today and I just want to thank all of my subscribers for watching my channel all summer long. I wanna give a little more information about my system in the van today. So for any returning subscribers, I'm sorry about repeating myself. I just want to give as much information about the setup that I'm actually running today. But I wanna talk about how I'm running my air conditioner here in my van off the grid, running off solar panels and batteries. So for those of you that don't know, me and my cat travel around in this 1988 Ford van, which I've converted into a camper van. I have a 250 watt solar panel up on the roof. I am based out of Olympia, Washington right now here in the heart of summer. Uh, we don't have too many hot days. Today is an incredibly hot day. We're in the 90s, which is very unusual for this area. The sun is basically directly overhead as much as it could possibly be here in this area. On the back door of my RV, I have a 5500 BTU air conditioner installed right on the back door. The solar panel that's up on the roof powers this closet right in here, which I'm going to show you. This is my cat, Jax. Hi, Jax, say hi to all the new people watching. So inside my closet here, there are four Telcom batteries down there. Those are 101 amps a piece, AGM sealed batteries. I have the Renogy charge controller, MPPT. That is a 50 amp charge controller. Outside, I'm monitoring it with the Murtech controller, which currently says, if I can get the glare out of the way, 14 volts are my batteries, and I'm still bringing in 7.9 amps of power right now. And then I've got my thermometer down here, which I do have the remote outside, so it really is 83.1 inside, and it's 90.6 outdoors right now. Now, if I don't want to keep the doors wide open and test the air conditioner, we will go back here, and I will simply turn the air conditioner on fan on high, set it to the lowest, that wasn't power, okay, there we go, and we're just going to let that cool, I'm going to turn off this light here, I'm also going to turn off the fantastic fan and close the vent so that no air is going to escape. We're going to closely monitor this over here, which has switched now to 13.0 volts and bringing in more amps to combat the use of the air conditioner right now. Jax, I wouldn't close you in in here unless I knew you were safe, okay? Just want to make that clear. So a lot of people have been asking me how I'm going to deal with the heat here in the northwest. I chose to paint the top of my van black and a lot of people thought that would be a terrible idea. It's just going to reflect the sun and make it even hotter in there, but to be honest with you, in most places I'm at when I'm not here at my mechanic's house, <laughs> which I'm not when I'm on the road, obviously, these doors open up, I let air in. I open the driver's window, let air in. I have the fantastic fan blowing. And sometimes I'll even turn on the air conditioner and just run the fan mode so that it's you know helping to circulate the air a little bit better. Uh, there's the sound the air conditioner makes when it's running from the outside. Not, not, not too noisy. And my buddy's RC car going over there too. But basically, there's a lot of math that's involved in calculating, uh, I guess, how long your air conditioner will run, right? And I'm not going to necessarily, like, test it right now. Okay, here's something to point out. So my inverter inside has kicked on. You can hear it humming. I'm going to open this up and show you. I'm not worried about keeping it cool anymore, but there you go. It's The fans are on because it's drawing power. Volts after about two minutes of running are at 12.9 12.1 amps coming in so we are drawing power but we have not dropped too low in a previous video I also talked about um, how to understand the voltage for like what your battery levels are at I will flash that back up on the screen just so you can know what the 12.9 12.7 and 12.2 what all that means as far as a uh, percentage of your batteries um, when this inverter can no longer maintain the volts that the air conditioner back there is controlling, you're actually going to have your inverter start beeping at you and telling you, I can't operate this air conditioner anymore. So, and like I said, in previous tests, that's been about three to three and a half hours in the sun. Meow meow. So it is a very common question that people ask me, can you run air conditioner off of your solar panel in a vehicle? And not have to be plugged into power so that kind of answers the question i can run lots of stuff in here i you know 
but I kind of prefer to have the doors open. If I was in a desert climate where it was like 111, 115 degrees, I don't think that I would close all the doors and run the air conditioner though. I think I would just open the doors and maybe turn the air conditioner on at night for a little bit just to cool it down after the sun goes down, but yeah. All right, well, I'm not timing this or anything, but it's been closer to like two hours since I've been running it. And um, one thing I forgot is I actually, I'm still running the refrigerator off of solar and that's drawing between three and six amps. Just something I forgot. I guess I could turn it off and then maybe get more, more hours out of the um, air conditioner, but I don't really want to turn the fridge off. It's, you know, it cycles on and off and I think at its max, it's drawing six amps. So I guess you kind of have to factor that in too. I don't have everything off in the van. Okay, so we'll just have a look, y'all. Yeah. 12.8 and bringing in 12.0. Inside we're down to 69.2 and it's still almost 90 degrees outside, but it's nice and cool in here. Nice and cool. The only, the only other thing I might do at some point is if I get to an RV park, I can actually uh, plug in all of my power. So I'll bypass my inverter, I'll run a cord out and I'll, I'll plug it into the RV park. And that way I can just run my air conditioner straight off 110 volt, you know, like the regular uh, 30 amp service and uh, save my batteries. I can actually park in the shade in an RV park, but I don't do that often. I like to boondock. So I want air conditioning from the solar. So that's how I do it. What, you good? You, oh, okay. Cool. Exactly, right? One more time. Exactly. Oh, and then it wasn't until Jack started meowing and I saw the food down here. I guess I kind of got to talk about this now, too. I'm not going to... I'm going to be giving him a spoonful of the old frisky stuff, even though we've said he's on a grain-free diet. Uh, he just misses it too much, and he loves it, and I don't want to take it away from him right now. So I'm going to give him, like, a, a spoonful of it on top of his uh, dry food, and then I think he'll be happy. You going to be a happy camper? Oh, okay. Say bye-bye, everybody. I'll see you in a couple days. Okay.